Okay, in this video I want to talk about restoring the operating system on your Asus laptop computer. This will also work with Asus desktops. Um, and it's pretty much universal for all Asus computers. Uh, this particular model is an Asus X54C. Um, I'll put all the model numbers in the description, but most likely if you have an Asus laptop or desktop, this method will work. Now before you do it, you want to make sure you have it plugged in uh, to the power. And um, this will work, of course, on Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 7, uh, even Vista computers. And uh, what you're going to be doing is, is when you restore it back to factory settings, uh, you're restoring it like it just came out of the box, out of the retail box, and you're just opening it up. No personal information, no pictures, no photos, no uh, videos, nothing. So if there is any way that you can retrieve the information that you want to keep uh, and put it on like a USB um, you know, thumbnail, something like this. You can get these at Walgreens or any drugstore or Walmart for like 10, 15 bucks. This is 16 gigs. Uh, just stick it in there and drag your stuff over to it. Um, or you can put it on a DVD or you can put it on the cloud or, you know, whatever whatever method you want. Uh, sometimes you can't do that because you got a virus. Um, and that, if that's the situation, you need to get the virus off. And that's a different topic for another video. But, um, Again, I'll get all your information off, and um, and then this is what we do. We turn on the computer, and we tap the F9 key. As soon as you see the Asus logo, you tap F9, um, and you could actually hold it down as well. And you might hear some beeping when you do it. Um, it might take two or three times to do it before it catches. What happens is, is the operating system is actually on the hard drive itself. And this, I'll show you, this is what a hard drive looks like if you haven't seen one. Um, and what they do is they actually put the operating system on the hard drive, you know, Windows 7, Windows 8, on the hard drive itself so you can get access to it. They used to put it on a, a DVD disc, and they still do, some computers still do that. They put it on a disc where you could do it through your DVD. The reason they stopped doing that is to prevent pirating because a lot of people were using those discs and they were putting it on um, other computers. And so that's why they started to put it on the hard drive itself, the operating system. Now, if for whatever reason you keep doing this and it won't do it, and you notice that your computer is freezing a lot, it might just be that your hard drive is bad. And if that's the case, that's going to take a little bit more steps. You're going to have to actually buy you a new hard drive, and you get uh, different size hard drives, and you'll pay anywhere from. If you get it used, you'll get you'll pay anywhere from 15 bucks to 100 bucks, depending on where you get it. I recommend you know Amazon, eBay, uh, one of these retail, online retail places, and not get it like at a local place because you'll pay an arm and a leg. Um, and then you would need to get a restore disc, and I would recommend just contacting Asus um, and saying, "Hey, I got a computer. I need." To, sometimes they'll just give you one, um, and then you can you can find that 800 number online and just tell them that you need a, a Windows 7 or disc, whatever goes with your license. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on and press F9. All right, since I've seen the logo, I tapped F9. All right, and then you're going to see this screen. It says Windows Boot Manager. Choose an operating system to start, and then we just hit Enter. It'll say Windows is loading files. And this usually takes a few seconds. Sometimes if you got a lot of stuff on your computer, it's good to do this just to freshen it up. A lot of people think that their computer's broken when it's not. Um, so for, right here it says preload wizard. We'll click next. The recovery wizard only works with Asus notebooks. It will not work with any other computer systems. All right, next. All right, you got three. You got three options: recover Windows to first partition only, recover Windows to entire hard drive, and recover Windows to entire hard drive with two partitions. Um, I'd recommend to do recover Windows to entire hard drive. Well, actually, no. I think you want to choose recover Windows to entire hard drive with two partitions. The two. No, no, no. Excuse me. We want to recover Windows to the entire hard drive. I was thinking before that if you did the, the last one that 
it would erase your operate system um, uh, install, but it won't. So we'll go ahead and choose recover Windows to an entire hard drive. This will help you restore the pre-installed applications to the original factory state. If you can access your hard disk drive, back up all your important files before performing. That's what I discussed before. Next. Are you sure you want to start the reco recovery process now? Click finish to run the recovery, protest, uh, recovery pro process. So that's what you do. You hit finish and um, that will completely that will completely um, reinstall your computer uh, back to factory settings. All right, thank you for watching.